In a recent episode of The Junkies, Ron Rivera was on the show talking about how that they, the Washington football team, is actually actively looking at NFL quarterback prospects as well as college prospects. Rivera went on to say that they understand the importance of having a franchise quarterback, and this is something that is at the top priority of their list of things to accomplish, hopefully within this next year. He talked about how that, you know, adding the other pieces was his plan in order to build the team around a quarterback or basically to to build up the offense around the quarterback, the future quarterback, so that he could plug somebody in and they basically can have a chance at, at being successful. You talked about Sam Cosme, how successful you know Cosme has been so far. Uh, talked about how it's important to re-sign Brandon Sheriff. You know that still remains to be seen if that's actually going to uh, be a reality or not. But you know he basically talked about building up that offensive line to protect whoever is going to be behind center, right? So maybe that gives you some sense of. I don't know. I, I don't want to say uh, calmness or or, or optimism, uh, but you know it does it does give you some sense of hope that this front office and this coaching staff realizes that they need a franchise quarterback. They realize they do not have a franchise quarterback on this team right now. So that being said. Of course, there's been a lot of talk about how the college prospects for this year is going to be like one of the weakest quarterback uh, classes to come out of college. Well, I've heard that in the past, and then there always winds up being at least one or two franchise quarterbacks coming out of that weak class. And I probably said this in a video, a few videos back, but... You know, you just need that one chance. You just need that one quarterback that you know, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that's going to be a franchise quarterback, which is kind of hard to do. You can't always, I mean, how many times have we drafted a quarterback in a high round thinking this guy has the ability to be a franchise quarterback and they turn out not to be, or they turn out to be possibly a franchise quarterback or at least up there with the better quarterbacks, but they don't want to stay in Washington. So we have just not had luck with that in in the past, and I hope that we change our fortunes in the future. So anyway, it's good to say that, or it's good to see that Ron Rivera and company, they're looking at quarterbacks. They're looking at NFL prospects as well. So just because of that, you know, it, it's a good chance that we may, in fact, draft a quarterback next year. Hey, they're still looking at quarterbacks who could be prospects. I wouldn't doubt if they're still trying to knock on the, the door of Deshaun Watson. Do I think that they'll be able to get Deshaun? I, probably highly unlikely. I don't know. But then again, who knows? Uh, you know, certainly we want to make sure that Deshaun Watson's legal battles are all done before you make this huge investment into the guy. But, you know, assuming that all of that kind of, you know, works itself out, I mean, Deshaun Watson can be, I mean, he can definitely turn your team into one of the better teams in the league. So that's something to, to keep a watch of. We know he's not going to uh, Philadelphia, as a lot of people had rumored, was going to happen. Um, I don't think he's going to Miami. I just personally don't think he is. So who knows? We'll, we'll see. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Who are the who are the quarterbacks next year who may be available in both the NFL and the college? level that you think Washington would have an opportunity to get or who you think that they need to go out and get. Leave me a comment below. I would love to read what you have to say. Anyway, you guys take care. Have a great day. I will see you in the next one.